In my previous tutorial, I interfaced the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor with the STM32F103C microcontroller board and displayed the temperature and humidity values on the I2C supported OLED display module. Today, I'm going to modify this project by adding the LoRa SX127 at long range wireless transceiver module. So, on the transmitter side, I'm using the LoRa SX127 at with the STM32 and on the receiver side I'm using the same LoRa SX127 at with the Arduino. You might be thinking why STM32 on the transmitter side and Arduino on the receiver side. The answer is pretty straightforward. If you have been using Arduino boards then you should know the Arduino boards hangs a lot in the long run and for me it's quite difficult to go and manually reset the Arduino board. So I decided to use STM32 which is very fast as compared to the Arduino boards. STM32 may also get stuck but not as frequently as the Arduino boards. The reason I'm using Arduino on the receiver side is that I have only one STM32 controller board and moreover the receiver side will be in my room and I will use it with my laptop to monitor the temperature and humidity values on the serial monitor. So most of the time the receiver side will be off but the transmitter will remain on. As the transmitter will remain on for months so there is a high chance of the STM32 may get hanged. So this issue can be solved by using the watchdog timer. So if the STM32 gets hanged for the predefined time the STM32 will automatically reset. I will make another tutorial about this. For now let's forget about the watchdog timer. So before I'm going to explain the LoRa SX127 at interfacing with the STM32 and its programming, first let's practically see how this system works. So let's go ahead and start with the transmitter side. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. You can clearly see the temperature and humidity values on the OLED display module. As I am near to the transmitter side, so there is no need to use the receiver. I can directly read the temperature and humidity values. Now let's say I am away from the transmitter, then I can connect my receiver circuit with the laptop and then using the serial monitor, I can read the temperature and humidity values. You can see the temperature and humidity values are comma separated. I used comma as the delimiter which will help me in splitting the values on the receiver side. In the next example, I will convert this into a LoRa gateway. That is, we will send the temperature and humidity values to the IoT platform. And this way we will be able to monitor the temperature and humidity values from anywhere in the world. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the transmitter side circuit diagram which explains how the LoRa SX127, DHT11 and OLED display module are interfaced with the STM32 microcontroller board. The DHT11 
and OLED display module connection where the STM32 remains exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. This time I added the 433 megahertz LoRa SX1278 with the STM32. The VCC and ground pins of the LoRa module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the STM32 microcontroller board. MISO pin is connected with PS6. MOSI pin is connected with PA7. SLCK pin is connected with PA5. And the NSS pin is connected with PA4 pin of the STM32 microcontroller board. So that's all about the transmitter side circuit diagram. Now let's take a look at the receiver side circuit diagram. The VCC of the LoRa module is connected with the 3.3 volt of the Arduino. The MISO pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino pin 12. The MOSI pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 11. The SCLK pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's pin 13. The NSS pin is connected with the Arduino's pin 10. And the ground pin of the LoRa module is connected with the Arduino's ground. In the circuit diagram, you can also see the SSD1306 I2C supported OLED display module. I added this if in case you want to print the values on the OLED display module. The VCC and ground pins of the SSD1306 OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. The SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's I2C pins A4 and A5. On the top you can see the 5 volt regulator power supply based on the 7805 voltage regulator. You will need this power supply if you want to power up your Arduino using an external 12 volt power supply or a solar panel. In order to program the STM32 microcontroller board using the Arduino IDE, first you will need to flash the boot loader and you will also need to install the STM32 board and some drivers. I have a very detailed tutorial on this and I highly recommend you should watch this tutorial. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. As this project is based on the wireless communication, so we have two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side and the other program is written for the receiver side. So let's first start with the transmitter side programming. As you can see, this is the same exact program from my previous tutorial. This time I added code for the LoRa SX1278 module. I started off by adding the library and defined some pins and variables. Inside the loop function, I only added this code which sends the humidity and temperature values. If you find it confusing, then you can watch my complete series on the Arduino and LoRa SX1278. The programming style of the Arduino and STM32 is almost the same. I will provide links to my Arduino and LoRa based tutorials. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. On the receiver side, I didn't even change a single instruction. This is the same exact program which I explained in my Arduino and LoRa based getting started tutorial. So that's all for now. I have already uploaded both programs and now let's watch the STM32 and LoRa SX1278 based temperature and humidity project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.